the compile for safety, wearing of safety helmet by commercial motorcycle riders have been an uphill task. To use all avenues to disseminate information, trying to get them to appreciate the benefits in using safety helmets while riding uh, Okada well, as an alternative means of uh, transportation, it has actually come to stay. But what we are trying to do is to ensure that we streamline their operations so that they can actually obey traffic rules and regulations, safeguard themselves, because the earlier they understand they are unprotected road user, just like a pedestrian, and anybody that is not in an encase of a, like a vehicle or a bus or this, the better for them. We want them to start to appreciate that their safety and the safety of people they carry as passengers is very, very paramount. So it's not actually the problem of FRS being everywhere. Yes. FRS cannot be everywhere. What we intend to do is to use all available source of uh, information dissemination to educate them. Try to let them know that God does not approve spillage of blood on Nigerian roads. Oh. These things are man-made. It's caused by human beings. You may not know when it will happen, but we are saying that when it occurs, you can reduce the severity of injury you can sustain because I don't think we have many centers where they can repair your brain when you hit them on third road or the roadside curbs or gutters. You are likely to end up dead or get mental and become a vegetable and a problem. To your loved ones. That's why we are trying uh, by combining enforcement and education. Okay. Because education, uh, obeying traffic rules without seeing uniform personnel is an ind indication and an indice on level of development. So, then there, even though in the northern region about 30 years ago, uh, during the within, within the military era, it was somehow abrogated then. But after visiting federal medical centers, specialist hospitals, where you have special wards for motorcycle riders, accident victims, government deemed it necessary that this thing has to to be brought back into and to streamline all these uh, injuries. You know, we spend a lot of money treating people that ordinarily shouldn't have been sick just because of their carelessness and recklessness on the road. They sustain injuries whereby medicines that will be used for the people who, are, who fall sick by falling sick will be all the money in the hospital, the resources will be spent on the accident victims. Oh. Of course, because it's not their, uh, it's an act of their carelessness, they have accidents, but you cannot allow them to die without treating them. So it's, it, it brings up enormous responsibility on hospital management and the health, because ordinarily these people are not supposed to. To, to be there. No matter what we say, uh, the date on our road as well as of uh, blood is still on the high side. That's the word I can tell you because we must join hands together, everybody, because safety is everybody's responsibility. We must tackle the issues. The accident uh, statistics is still on, on the high side. We must bring it to the barest minimum so that we can safeguard 
lives and property on our roads, especially in the states and nationwide. Some states ban it from some cities because you know um, Okada uh, commercial motorcycle riders have been associated with some forms of uh, crime. There are few members of the Okada riders that are associated in uh, crime. In Kaduna, we have a very up and doing task force, Operation Yaki, who is going through all the nooks and crannies of Kaduna to ensure that there is security. And that is a credit to the governor of Kaduna State. Oh, yeah. Every time I look at the operations and the activities of Operation Yaki, for which we are part of, I'm very proud to, to serve in this state. It could have been worse, but as far as we are concerned, Kaduna is under check and control. Might be one or two uh, incidents here and there, but there's nothing compared to some, some cities in Nigeria. Then My name is Harrison Pepo. Harrison Pepo. Yeah. I'm the sector commander, Kaduna State Sector Commander of Federal Safety Corps here in Kaduna. Kaduna. So thanks so much, Susan. It's been a nice time with you. Yes, it's good. Uh,